This trailer shows only a few shortened scenes. I can send you the complete 45-minute original film as DVD if you wish. I'll tell you how to do this at the end of the video. I take a tow to an altitude of about 500 meters into the thermals. Cleared for takeoff, runway 27. Free again from the ties of the world, only the whispering of the wind. We continue to fly on solar power and more and more often together with eagles, the sky a little closer. It always fascinates me to see how the Alps block the bad air from the Po area from crossing over to France. Sometimes you can fly around the Monteviso. And that's what we are trying now. I like to visit the planetarium lying at almost 3,000 meters in the Keres. This melted ice ends up here in the lake Lac de Serre Ponson after having traveled 16 kilometers. Oops, a bit too low, but flying low is always good for a few nice video shots for the grandkids. Fortunately, this time I didn't have to land on the outlanding field on the lake shore. A bit lower and then by foot at Loch de Serre Ponson. Being able to fly to the Matterhorn is my dream come true. And now we're going to do it again. I 
I am flying in a northerly direction. I don't know as yet how far it will go. Let's see what lies ahead of us. What the day has in store for us. Well, here we are at Mont Blanc, the highest mountain of the Alps, at 4,810 meters. Most of the time the Matterhorn, at 4,500 meters, has a white cap. But not today. In a minute, we round the Matterhorn, 500 meters below the summit, about 100 meters from its slopes. East of the Matterhorn lies the magnificent area of the Monte Rosa. We are now in the highest area of the Alps. Here we can admire several mountains over 4,000 meters high. Here I have often wiped tears of joy from my eyes. I'm flying here eight kilometer along the dome and feel like a small housefly. Wouldn't that be a nice bath for a cool swim in August? We are now over the Aletsch Glacier. And at the end of the Rhone Valley lies the Rhone Glacier. Marvelous! But my brain is constantly nagging me. Turn back, turn back. It's already 4 p.m. and there are only four hours left to fly the 300 kilometers back to Barcelona. Okay, I've turned back. I'm now at the Teodol Pass and just managed to cross it at 3,400 meters next to the Matterhorn. The Gran Paradiso in Italy, for me always a dream of snow and ice. just, but only just, enough height. At the Morgon, almost home, 10 minutes to go. The day comes to an end. Couché du soleil, the sun is cuddling down for the night. Now, I've got to concentrate on the landing. We make the last turn before landing. A last moment of concentration after 10 hours of flight. 250 meters above the runway, somewhat high. I need to extend the air brakes a little further. Five meters per second descent rate is okay. Speed and altitude, okay. Reduce speed and round out. I've returned to the earth, and it's late in the evening. What a 
wonderful flight. Let's go on to new adventures. More of this can be seen in the original film. If you want, without shortened scenes, you are invited to fly completely around the Matterhorn with me to total 45 minutes of sailplane adventures in the Alps. I am truly grateful to have been able to see such amazing scenes with my own eyes. For this reason, I have made this film to benefit the blind people in Africa who cannot afford cataract surgery themselves. For an adult, the cost of this surgery is 30 euros. For a child, the cost is 125 euros due to the need for a full narcosis. Through donations to the Christoffel Blinden Mission, these people will finally be able to see. I have an idea how we can help. You help someone to get their vision back and I will give you a copy of this film. The amount of your donation is up to you. Do you find this a good idea? And you want the original 45 minute film from 6,000 hours of Alpine flight? If your answer is yes, then please send me an email request for further information at karpfen M. at webde. Please join us in helping, so the sun can rise for these people too. Twenty-four hours following the operation, it is as if Tony has become reborn. Danke, Dr. Irmela. Danke, CBM.